Metallica has always been about wanting to play tight and together and just punchy. Every kid, you know, dreaming of being on stage, dreaming of playing music for a living, hangs out in a music store. It was like a candy store for me. We had some crappy guitar, but it was a bolt-on neck. It would bow, and you know, trying to hold the strings down was hard enough. We had enough money to buy picks and strings, and that was kind of it. And seeing early ball strings, just seeing the word heavy on there was always nice. <laughs> heavy, I want heavy. <laughs> Most of the stuff I got into as a youth had to do with logos <laughs> and how cool it looked. You know, buying certain records as a kid, you, you look at the album cover and you go, oh, I don't know what it sounds like, but it looks cool. It was all about logos on your folder, or peachy, you know, and I had a couple of buddies that you just bump into each other at school. You know, hey, you like that bag? I know, that guy's got that same logo on his stuff, so you get together that way. For me, it was a little more raw kind of music that I liked, more aggressive stuff that was coming out of America. Then discovering bands like ACDC, and then Judas Priest, and then the whole new wave of British metal came out, and that was Iron Maiden and then Motorhead. You know, Black Sabbath, for sure, was a number one influence for me as a kid, just seeing that first album cover, you know, seeing the first Iron Maiden cover. It drew me right to it. It just continually got heavier and heavier as I was discovering music. As far as my playing style, kind of just a, I don't know, a mismatch of a bunch of different stuff. I'm kind of a, I don't know, a little bit of a barbarian when I play. <laughs> Always interested in the riff. It was the foundation of the song. Tony Iommi, he's ruling the song with his riff, and everything else joins him. You know, Johnny Ramone, lots of down picking, lots of, lots of, you know, just, just fast down picking. That helped develop my style, so kind of a combination of punk rock and heavy rock at the time, you know, turned into just the down-picking style and with melody along with it. It's only taken 40 years for me to have my own strings, you know? Come on! Biggest challenge was tuning. You got lighter strings, you hit them hard, they're going, whoa, real sharp for a second, and then they settle back. It just became such a challenge, especially in the studio. When we would sit down and I'd play this thing and it was great, and then, oh, well, you're a little out. And, oh, you're gonna do it again. So the, you know, the, the real percussive hitting of it was a challenge. When you're trying to be creative in the studio and you have to sit and stop and wait for a tuning, it's like a big speed bump in your creativity. You know, it slows you down, it's like, oh. And the quest for a, a string that would stay in tune better is kind of where it started. And Gurney Ball said, hey, let's look into this some more. Let's see what we can do. And we fiddled around with different gauges. And we messed around with 11 through 50. We went to 52 for a second and it just didn't work. We were losing some of the brightness, so what do we do there? Well, the, the core of it. Coming up with the heavy core was a major milestone, I think, in strings. It makes me a better player, actually. It makes me work a little harder. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta have some Metallica calluses to play some of these things at times. What I've found also is that I get to add a little more gain to my amp to give it a little more forgiveness <laughs> in my playing because it's so tight. But for me, when I'm able to just, you know, hit it hard and it stays in, that is the important part. So I don't have to worry about my finesse or, gosh, you're, you're, pressing, too, you're pressing down too hard or you're hitting too hard. 
I can play the way I need to play, and live especially is when you're filled with adrenaline from the crowd and the big amps are on and you're out there and you don't want to worry about anything except, you know, just having fun and, and hitting hard. Thank you.